Hi, I'm Christina Bianco. You may know me as a singer, actor, and impressionist, but I also work with the nonprofit Healing Tree because issues of trauma and abuse in our culture truly matter to me. Trauma in childhood is especially important for us all to be aware of because of its long-term and widespread effects. The CDC Kaiser Permanente Adverse Childhood Experiences Study, known as ACE, is one of the largest investigations of childhood abuse and neglect and later life health and well-being. ACE categories include various forms of abuse, household challenges, and neglect. Study findings repeatedly reveal a graded dose-response relationship between ACEs and negative health and well-being outcomes across the life course. Nadine Burke Harris, MD, is a pediatrician known for her work with ACEs. And as writer Dara Lind explains in an article for Vox, Dr. Harris's organization, the Center for Youth Wellness, does research and clinical work on toxic stress, a condition that researchers have identified with significant mental and physical health differences in the short and long run. Harris and others have concluded that the key to preventing an adverse childhood experience from metastasizing into toxic stress is having a safe, stable, nurturing relationship with an adult caregiver. Dr. Harris says that toxic stress results from the exposure of children to stressful or traumatic events that activates the biological stress response in a significant way. Normally, when kids have access to safe, stable, nurturing relationships, those relationships and other factors are a buffer to this overactivation of the stress response. The big concern for us as a scientific organization is that all the research shows that even when kids are exposed to significant stressors, the presence of a nurturing caregiver to be a buffer of that stress protects children's health. What's interesting is that when parents hug or snuggle or give kisses to their children, it increases the release of oxytocin in the child's body. And oxytocin, as a chemical hormone, inhibits the activation of the stress response. So it actually helps to calm down and biologically buffer the stress response. But if it's a stranger that you don't know, you don't get that same effect. When children are faced with high doses of adversity, in the absence of that buffering caregiving, what happens is that the stress response system doesn't turn itself off normally. And that leads to a condition that is now known as toxic stress, in which we have overactivity of a stress response and abnormal levels of stress hormones. And that changes the structure and function of a child's developing brain, their developing immune system, their hormonal system, and even the way the DNA is read and transcribed. So how we see that in the short term is that kids are at greater risk for infection, growth problems, sleep problems, problems with digestion, and increased risk of autoimmune disease. And in the long term, what we see is increased risk of heart disease, stroke, cancer, Alzheimer's, and other health conditions.